So let's get started. See, the thing about haters is they wish to be you, okay? For whatever reason it is that they wish, if it's a guy and you're a girl, they wish to have your anointing. They wish to have your intelligence. They wish to have your thought processes. They wish to carry themselves the way that you do. If you're a girl and it's a girl, they wish to have the color of your eyes. They wish to have your body shape. They wish to have your anointing. Okay? If I mean, you could be a guy and it, it, you can just switch it, vice versa, right? You guys understand what I'm saying? But the main thing I want you to remember and keep this in the back of your head is that they wish to be you, baby. You got something they ain't got. And believe you me, they want it. And that's on 100. Yeah, the main thing to remember about haters is they wish to be you. That's what I want you to keep in mind, guys. Anytime, and I know the people that watch my video got haters. Okay, so anytime you got a hater hating on you, lying on you, saying whatever they want to say about you, copying you, and then trying to turn it around and act like they came up with it, but put their own twist on it, and then, but, you know, like, it the same way it's dissing you type thing, right? <laughs> so pathetic, okay? So pathetic. Um, I mean, it's different if you want to put your own twist on something out of respect and honor for another person. But when you're doing it to diss somebody, that's pathetic. Period. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're on here in these streets. Never. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever. Simon Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to see your daughter cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But for real, your haters, um, they want to be you. And you can tell, especially if you're a social media influence, you can tell because they copy you in their titles. Like, please don't waste time watching the videos um, of your haters because that is a boundary cross on your energy okay your energy is sealed they there is a seal and a hedge of protection around you your haters are not allowed in okay so don't even waste time allowing them in your brain or your thought processes because they ain't on your level <laughs> if they were baby they wouldn't be doing what they doing okay my job let's just put it there <laughs> We don't copy you. <laughs> okay. You copy us. Don't get it twisted. Because a lot of your haters, they really, really wish that they were on your level. They get so jealous that they don't have your anointing, right? That they that, that they're not able to speak as fluently as you are, right? That they can't be as wise as you are. But they they really honestly believe in their heart of hearts that they are. Right, so they get on and they make videos that copy you in their titles and then they try and copy you in their videos. When it's so obvious, the energy's different, the anointing's different, I mean, it's just not there. Right, it's a copy, it's a rendition, it's, um, it's like Best Buy versus Whole Organic Foods. Okay, like, <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? So, remember when your haters comp you that it truly is a form of flattery, okay? Because there is a thin line between love and hate, and truly your haters are your biggest fans, baby. Even though it doesn't seem like it, because they're so mean, right? And they, bore, they, are, they are heavy on the hate, less on the love, but it's just because they want to be you so badly. <laughs> and you got to understand that. You got to understand that. And then you got to really let that sink in. And then you hold your head up high, baby. 
And you'd be like, oh, you want to be me? Never going to happen. Mic drop. Um, let me see if I can give y'all some definitive examples of a hater. Um, let's see. Well, I already said they copy you in their titles. This is for social media. Um, they will also act like, you know, they'll watch your video, take notes, of everything that you said and then they'll go make a video copying that basically putting their own twist on it but acting like they came up with it type of thing it's <laughs> so pathetic like it's pathetic and you guys need to just let it go you know let them think that they're running things because they ain't and God sees all of it and if they definitely if they mean it as a stab at you Trust me, it's a seed they sowed in the spirit realm and the watchers, because if you're for spirit now, I'm told all the protection that I get, you got. And baby, <laughs> the watchers are always with me. Honey, I ain't ever alone. So everything that is done to me is literally being taken note of. Okay? Because I'm... I'm literally, and I, and I, and all the glory goes to Abba, okay, but I'm literally people's lessons in their lives. Like, they come across me and they learn a lesson, okay? Some people get gifts. Some people are blessed because they recognize right away I am a gift in their life. And they see and realize and understand and embrace me, cherish me, and respect me. And that's on 100. And you know, they know, and we 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 be doing what we do. Hey! Like, drop. But for the ones that be become jealous, um, become haters, um, act like that they are the ones that decided that they were gonna, you know, do all this, and that, you know, they're, they have this massive anointing, and that they're, better than you quote unquote when in all reality you're in competition with no one okay who gonna win when i'm only five i'm only in competition with me okay never me okay or lose it's who's gonna lose that's what it is who's gonna lose mimi said something like that on her video i love mimi i'll check her out she's a great reader she really is she's very authentic she was really reading from her heart, and I really think it's innocent to help others. I don't think she has any negative intention, or, and she isn't using it in any form to, you know, sow negative seeds in people's lives and as a form of witchcraft, which a lot of tarot card readers do. So you guys be careful if you're watching tarot card readers. I highly suggest Mimi. She's excellent, okay? But um, for real, for real, she said something about... Who am I going to be in competition with? Who am I going to lose to if the only competition is me? Okay, like, never me, okay? Like, because that's how we roll. That's our mentality, right? And you have to understand that your haters, they're on the rat wheel of comparison. They have never stepped off of it. So all their life, every person, like, I actually, when I, when I was 17, the manager, I was working at Domino's, okay, and the manager at Domino's, she, her name was Emily, and she came up to me and she said, you know how a girl will walk through and she just has perfect hair, and you just hate her, you just immediately hate her all the way down to your bone marrow, and I just looked at her like, deer in the headlight, like, er, 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 you know, like crickets, because I have never looked at someone, anyone, and hated them for anything, ever. So it was then, that day, that I realized how different I am than most women, let alone human beings, period. A lot of things happened during my life when I was 17 to 
make me realize that. I mean, I always knew I was different since I was a kid, but as far as thought processes go and realizing how different my mind works than most women, because I have never looked at another woman and hated her for anything, let alone her hair, right? But this, this, my boss was like, literally like, I mean, she was, there might have well been poison coming out of her mouth. She was so vile about how she hated. And it was a complete stranger that she didn't even know. It was just because they had good hair. You know, like, and, and Emily was gorgeous. She was a beautiful woman. So it was crazy to me that she even thought like that. But most people do. They instantly compare themselves to everyone around them. They are not in their own little bubble. And I have a sacred circle around me, literally. I am sacred. I have sanctity. I have sanctified the love inside of myself on a daily basis and it has become sacred. So everywhere I go is sacred. Everyone I run into runs into the sanctity of love inside of me, unless they come for somebody I love, because then, whoo, I get in my flesh real quick. We might be stepping outside that circle and going blow to blow just because you're going perfect, okay? But we're gonna leave that there. That's a story for another day. But the point is, you guys, is um, remember that your haters wish to be you because you got something they ain't got and never will. <laughs> Love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and you know your girl be back. God willing.